I gotta figure out that puzzle. I don't know if I have all the pieces for it yet, though. The riddle of Yorn goes one more time. Thanks. You always take us down when we are in our prime. Devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed, up from a hidden pit long after I am dead. Well. Yeah. Bring us a solution, and you may enter the pyramid. Bye. <laughs> Sense you later. <laughs> Cause they're blind. All right, girls, time for the talent portion. Let's practice. Oh, Mog, shine your light on me. Okay. The heck, she doesn't have her shoes anymore? Past it. Hmm. Firm and pungent. Hmm. Firm and pungent. That should do it. Chathra! Alright, girls, time for the talent portion. Let's practice. Oh, Mog, shine your light on me. Okay? Oh, Can I use this on me no yet? No way. I'm not becoming seagull bait. Shh. Here she comes again. Halt! The dead eye god sees no one. Bye. 
sense you later. Check it out, fruit. No thanks. These are our only robes. We don't want to get them all sticky. It's the answer to your riddle. But it's just a fruit. With a pit inside. Oh my god. It's so simple. Why <laughs> did we get that? Oh man. That's been bugging us all day. But all what day, does it huh? have to do with the pyramid? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's just something our friend Becky Yorn told us this morning. Mm -mm. She thinks she's so smart. I can't wait to rub this thing in her face. So, uh, can I go in there now? Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Knock yourself out. <laughs> wow, that's simple, huh? I wonder what that symbol means. There's that symbol again. Guess this is where they buried their old god. That symbol is so str It's that same religious symbol. But this one is recessed, like a socket. I don't think that will fit in this socket. There we go. found my circuit control router. That's awesome. Now I can fire up the ship and get back to Laruna. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for finding my circuit control router. I lost it during the crash and couldn't find it anywhere. I drew pictures of it for the locals and kept saying, give me this, give me this. After a few years, I just had to put myself in cryogenic storage and hope someone smarter would come along and find it. Nice. Are you the dead eye god? Man, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> locals called me that when my spaceship crashed here, <laughs> and I kind of went along with it because, well, you know, God. Were you really dead? No, nah, I was just preserved in cryogenic suspension for 300 years. I guess all the locals I knew here are long dead. That's kind of a relief. They were a little annoying. Part of the reason I went into chrysolation, to tell you the truth. Does the ship you mentioned have any weapons? Hey, whoa. There's a giant monster that is destroying villages and eating young girls, and it may or may not have already... My whole family might be... Anyway, I just need to take down a horrible monster. Will you help? I... Uh, I mean, sure. I, I owe you one. But my ship didn't have any weapons that I know of. I'll dig around once I get this heap working and let you know. Can I help? Depends. You know anything about spaceships? Not really. No. I'm just a baker from sugar bunting. Sugar bunting? Is that anything like steel bunting? When I first landed, there was this town called Steel Bunting that the locals were all afraid of. Apparently, it's full of badasses. So we're standing in a spaceship? Just the upper observation deck. The rest of it's buried underneath. I'm going to need to fix some more wiring before I can even gain access to it. What's Laruna? That's my home planet. Or at least it was. Who knows if it's even still there. What's all this equipment do? This is the main observation deck of my ship. So this stuff mostly scans for signs of life or habitable worlds. Anything that would help the mission. What was your mission? Operation Dandelion. <gasps> Laruna was dying. And the dots are Spaceship connected. Was supposed to give us a fresh chance in a new home. But instead, we crashed here. How'd your ship crash? I hate to think about it, but there's a chance it was me. I tried to hack into the ship's controls and take over. Then some weird stuff happened, and the next thing I know, I'm here. Okay, see you later. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, that's Shay. Isn't it? Maybe not. Could be, though. Nailed it. Hi. Hey. 
Okay, see you later. Uh huh. Such strange shapes in here. Ooh, pretty colors. Whoops. Hey, that was my amplifying quartz. Without that, how am I supposed to read the data from the search beam? Sorry, I'll get a new one. Uh, don't bother. All I really care about is getting out of here, and I don't need a search beam for that. Hmm, if only I had something that would fit. There. Good as new. Actually, that's not bad. And you even got it in the right slot. <laughs> hey, put that laser coil back. That's how I generate light for my search beam. I'm just cleaning it. There, it's back. Safe and sound. I hope you put it in the right socket. Otherwise, the scanning beam could overheat. Hmm. Hey, put that laser coil back. That's how I generate light for my search beam. I'm just cleaning it. On second thought, I don't like it there. Hey, what are you doing? I found a replacement for your quartz thing. Maybe, but you put it in the wrong socket. You get that order wrong and you'll melt us down into a sad little puddle. Let's see. Live on the edge. The bottom socket is empty. Uh, yes, you broke... What have you done? Uh, fixed your ship? You put the amplifying quartz after the laser coil. If I powered up the beam in this configuration, I mean, the thermal feedback alone could melt down my entire ship. I could conceivably release the extra energy out of the targeting iris, but that would only produce a powerful, weaponized... Well, heck, let's just call a death ray a death ray. <laughs> nice. 